Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and today I'm going to be taking you guys to the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. I had a wonderful three-night stay here. This is my second time staying at the Flamingo, and I'm very excited to share my stay here with you. We're going to be seeing a lot in this 19-minute video, so grab some popcorn, maybe some wine, <laughs> get comfy, and come take the tour with me. Let's get into the location of the Flamingo first. It is in prime location center strip right next door to the Cromwell. On the opposite side of the Flamingo, you're going to find the Link Hotel and the Link Promenade, one of my favorite places to go on the Las Vegas Strip. Whatever you can't find at the Flamingo, you will definitely find on the Link Promenade. Okay, come with me. We're going to go check in. We just flew in from Connecticut. I'm here visiting with my daughter, Sky. It's our first time going to Las Vegas together. It's her first time staying at the Flamingo. If you're researching the Flamingo and you're wondering if it's right for you, that's what this video is about. TripAdvisor gives it a three and a half stars. That's pretty much how I feel about it too. When we got there, the line was pretty long. They have kiosks, but none of them were working. So you had to go wait in line and actually talk to a representative. We were so happy to get our room. We were so tired. Our flight landed at one o'clock, which was like five o'clock in the morning, our time. The room that I reserved and received is called the Go Room. It's one of the cheaper ones. I didn't ask for an upgrade. I didn't do the $20 trick. I just, I'm happy with whatever they give me. I'm not in the room much anyway. <laughs> the Go Rooms are not luxurious in any way. They're glam. They're very pink. <laughs> they're very white, but I like it. I think they're adorable. I think these are really cute rooms. I didn't like inspect anything when I first checked in but throughout the visit I did find a couple problems which I will be showing you at the end of the video when I do my full final review okay I slept about two hours <laughs> it's about 7 a.m. and I'm on the loose we're gonna go check out the Flamingo Hotel please feel free if you want to add anything to this video or if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I'll get back to you as soon as I can one of the coolest things about the Flamingo is it's right on the monorail line I'm going to be taking you out here there's a station right here and that is so convenient the monorail runs all the way down the east side of the strip from the walkway to the monorail looking down this is where you'd be entering if you want to use the parking garage if you're getting dropped off by a taxi or an uber or lyft this would be the entrance. On the other side, on the same walkway, you could also find the Go Pool. We'll be seeing more of this later on in the video. We'll be taking a trip down there. Some of my favorite things about the Flamingo is the location. It's perfect. The atmosphere is very fun and happy. The rates to stay there are very good, and it's a very simple design. It's not too small, but it's not too big. It's very hard to get lost here. After speaking to others about this and reading reviews, I, I find that people either love the Flamingo, it's their favorite place to go, or they absolutely hate it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the best I can to really capture the essence and the atmosphere of the Flamingo. And you decide for yourself whether you think it's gonna be a good fit for you and your family or your friends and whoever's in your party. Here's a brief look at the gym that's located on the bottom floor in the Flamingo Promenade. We're going to go walk outside. It is currently March. It is a little chilly out. We did get some pool time on this trip. Like I said before, we're going to be showing you that later on in the video. Here's a peek at an outdoor smoking area. Smoking is allowed in the casino floor, but not in other areas of the Flamingo. There is also valet parking, which is closer to check-in, which I'm going to be showing you right now. There you could also find monorail tickets. This over here is a machine. If you have a player's card and you forgot it, you could put your license in there and they'll shoot you out another player's card. This is also where you'll find the Caesars Rewards where you can actually talk to a human and get your cards. It's very important though, if you are gonna play, I can't stress this enough, that you actually take the time to get a player's card because they give you free offers. I'm here basically on free comp rooms because I play on the slot machines and I put my card in and they offer me free rooms to come back. It's just, you, you, you just gotta get the player's cards. The Flamingo is part of the Caesars family. They own this whole block over here. It's Caesars, Paris, Harrah's, Bally's, which is now the Horseshoe, the Link Hotel, which is right next door. We're going to be going to see that in a little bit. The Cromwell on the other side of the Flamingo is also a Caesars property. So, you know, you could go gamble in any of these casinos and get points to use for future trips. There is a sports book that's located by the lobby that's not very huge, but it's adequate. On the casino floor, you're going to find 220 slot games and 22 table games. Next to the sports book, you can find Carlos and Charlie's. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner there, and they have inside and outside dining. 
you will never go hungry in Las Vegas. Well, actually you can because the prices are a little high. <laughs> my daughter and I on this trip started splitting meals because the meals are pretty big and they're very expensive. And you know, we'd rather go out to eat several times and eat just once one huge meal and be full all day. None of the servers seem to mind. Even a couple places, they actually plated them on different plates. Here's a look at a sports book bar that I know absolutely nothing about. It never seems to be open every time I'm there. Let's head down this walkway. This goes to the Link Promenade, to the Habitat Elevators. It takes you out to see the actual flamingos. Over here on the left is the Bugsy and Myers Steakhouse, appropriately named after the flamingos founders, and the strip as well, I believe. <laughs> I'll have to research that one a little bit better. Las Vegas and the Las Vegas Flamingo are very rich in history for you history buffs. But the flamingo is very bright and glam it's not historic looking at all not much or probably nothing on the strip is if you're looking for historic i'd probably recommend going down to fremont street we are currently walking by where you could go outside and see the habitat where you're going to find like the flamingos and the pelicans we're going to be seeing that in a little bit i'm just taking you down the walkway here where this goes out to the link promenade we'll be seeing more of that later as well the Link Promenade is probably one of my favorite reasons to stay at the Flamingo. It's literally steps out, you are right there. There's no cars coming down. You don't have to worry about getting hit by a car. <laughs> it's all stores, restaurants. You have the high roller Ferris wheel. We'll see more of that later, but right now I'm gonna take you out to see the Flamingos. It's definitely another nice perk about staying at the Flamingo. A little beautiful nature in the middle of all the madness. Do you guys want to go check out the pools? There are two big pools at the Flamingo. One is 21 and older, it's called the Go Pool, and one is for families. Both of them are really nice and I'm going to show you them both to you. The Flamingo is also a popular place to tie the knot. Here is a look at the outside of Carlos and Charlie's. They have a daily happy hour, buy one, get one free drinks. Well, at least they did last time I was there in September, you know, like everything else in Vegas. You know, everything's subject to change. Okay, let's go check out the Go Pool. This is 21 and older. You needed a license, even me, I'm in my 50s. I had to show my license to access this. Security there also did check bags too. The day I was there, there was no food being served because it was March and it was cold and there wasn't too many people there. <laughs> Gonna take you a walk around. They have day beds and cabanas for rent. They also have free chairs too on a first come first serve basis. We will be visiting the beach club pool next where you could bring your family. This is the adult only 21 and older party pool called the Go Pool. Prices on day beds and cabanas vary, you know, and here and everywhere in Vegas, depending on the day of the week and the season. I mean, if you come in July on a holiday weekend and it's a Saturday, it's gonna cost you a heck of a lot more than it would be on a day like this in March when it's cold. <laughs> but honestly, you probably don't want a cabana anyway because you want to sit in the sun. <laughs> but it's probably a lot more fun if you're looking for the party scene to come when it's the end season. Another fact, the gold pool was not heated, but the beach club pool was. You cannot feel this energy. energy. And that is the tour of the Go Pool. Very, very fun. I hope you guys get the whole idea of the vibe there. Everything was actually pretty relaxed this day. Actually, this next pool was busier. There was a lot of kids here. Maybe it was a break from school. I'm not sure. Kids in Vegas is a very controversial thing. I don't mind the kids at all. I love kids. 
like the GoPool, you could also rent a cabana here. But they were very unique. Look at the furnishing on this one. Upon entering, they did check bags once again, but they do not check IDs, obviously, here. Neither of them check for room keys. I don't know if it's the season or if it's always like that. But in some hotels in Las Vegas, you have to have a room key showing that you are staying there. This pool was heated. I enjoyed coming to Las Vegas in March. I was also here in December. Weather-wise, it was very similar. I think the highest it got all week was about 60 degrees, but when the sun was out, you really felt it on your skin. It was really nice to lay out, and it was nice that it wasn't 120 degrees like it is in the summer. This section of the pool is closed till summer. Now I'm gonna take you guys for a walk through the Flamingo Promenade. Right here you could find Nook. That's where you could get your morning coffee if you don't mind waiting in a really long line. <laughs> There's a store over here that I absolutely love. The prices are so good. If you need a sweatshirt, a hat, a gift for somebody, they have like $3.99 mugs, <laughs> $1.99 bags. This place is great. I absolutely love it. The Link Promenade next door has all the restaurants and shops and it's outdoors, so it's a little bit more cool, but this, like I said, the prices in this place are fantastic. The Flamingo Promenade is located where like the parking garages and the Ubers and Lyfts, in between that and where you would find check-in. Next door, you're gonna find a store with higher end items. You know, they're gonna have bathing suits there. You know, if you're looking for something to wear, uh, or a gift. They have pocketbooks, candles. This is the place to go if you need drinks or potato chips or medicine or something like that. They do not have a Walgreens or anything like that very close, so this is it. But they do have these drinks for $5.99, and that's actually a pretty good price because they're the tall ones at the pool. That will cost double or maybe triple. They have some Disney items here. Across from that, you can find more shopping over here. If you like, you need a cocktail dress or something fancy, if you're going out to eat or maybe to the RuPaul show. <laughs> that's really fun, by the way. I, I, me and my daughter went to it. It was a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and finding it helpful. If you are and you want to see more Vegas, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm having such a blast touring all these resorts and casinos in Las Vegas, and I just love sharing it with others. Okay, you guys must be hungry by now. I'm going to show you some places to dine. We're going to start today with the food court. The food court is located right off the casino floor, and we are visiting right now during breakfast hours. I personally did not dine at the food court at all, and now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't actually eat at the Flamingo at all. But we did eat at the Link Promenade several times, and I'm going to be showing you that in this video too. As you can see, there's a large variety at the food court of different choices. There's a lot of seating. It goes right out to the casino. I'm traveling today with my daughter, Skye, and she's a vegetarian. She loves big cities like Brooklyn and Paris. And I'm like, you know, I want to take her somewhere really special. So I'm taking her out to the Link Promenade by the High Roller, another Vegas must-see. There's a little, it's like a French bistro called Favorite, and it, they have really good breakfast. And it's really cute. It's really cozy. It's got a really nice vibe. We didn't have a reservation, but they were able to seat us at a high top table at the bar and it was awesome. If you like croissants, you have to get the Eggs Benedict. Oh my gosh, it is a dream. It is so good. We both got entrees this morning. My daughter wanted the French toast with the berries and loved it. It was so good. So back at the room, look at this location. Look at the view. This was a regular room. This wasn't even an upgraded room or anything. It's just beautiful. But you know, the place isn't perfect. And I'm going to show you some of the problems that I found during the week. I do love the go rooms. I feel like they're adorable. And they have a refrigerator, which is like unheard of in Las Vegas. But it has these imperfections. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but as I was looking for it, I found them. But everything was clean, however. But if this would bother you, the Flamingo Hotel may not be for you. All right, let's go check out the RuPaul show. I'm not too familiar with Piff the Magic Dragon, but that's him right there. The showroom is very large and very red. It has a balcony, and we ended up getting seats down by the stage in the catwalk. My daughter Sky is a huge fan of the RuPaul show and sometimes we watch it together. So this was a really fun show to go to together. 
I really wasn't sure what to expect, but it was pretty much like a variety show. There was a lot of comedy, a lot of dancing, of course, but there was audience participation, which was absolutely hilarious. Here's some small clips for you to see. No, that is not Britney Spears. That is Derek Barry. The resemblance was amazing. Very fun show. Uh, Derek Barry seems to be a regular here, but the other performers do change. This is Jada Essence Hall, and that is real fire. The production was very high quality. It was an excellent show. At the present time, the RuPaul show is running Thursday through Monday night at 9.30 super fun. I really enjoyed it. I also learned how to play this roulette game. It was like a, it wasn't a table game. It was like on a machine. <laughs> kind of took a little bit of my money, but it was fun to try it. I put all of my money on 24, of course. <laughs> well, not all of it. It was like a $5 bet, which is a big bet for me. This area I'm discovering back here is a new area that I've never seen before. Like, I was looking for the Margaritaville restaurant and I kept walking. I'm like, wow, there's another casino here. <laughs> My daughter and I spent three nights here and this was taken very early in the morning, probably about 7 a.m. I'm gonna quickly play a couple slots and I'm gonna take you over to the Link Hotel, show you more places to dine on the Link Promenade. And then we're gonna check out the Margaritaville restaurant. If you want to try your luck somewhere else other than the Flamingo, you can walk right next door, right through the Promenade. You could go to the Link Hotel, which has another huge casino. I like the Link Hotel. It's another Caesars property. If I had to choose between the Link and the Flamingo, I would go with the Flamingo personally. Here is a very early morning look at the strip. That's Caesars across the street. This is right in front of the Link Promenade in between the Flamingo and the Link Hotel. And there is Margaritaville. And they are currently serving breakfast and they were kind enough to let me go in to film it for you guys. I have personally never dined here, but I have had dinner and breakfast, I believe, at the one that is in Orlando over at Universal Studios. And they used to have one of these at Mohegan Sun Casino where I live in Connecticut. So I'm pretty familiar with the brand. Now it's about 9 a.m. My daughter is awakened. She's all dressed and pretty, and I've been up since like 5 o'clock in the morning just filming stuff and gambling. But now we're really ready for breakfast. I heard this Maxi's had good breakfast, but they had to wait, and we didn't want to wait. <laughs> There's just too many places to eat without waiting. So we're trying Virgil's over here. Virgil's is a barbecue place, so I wasn't sure if my daughter would dig it, but she did. There was this delicious egg sandwich that we split, and it was really, really good. It came with fresh fruit, and these potatoes were so good. For a snack time during our stay, we tried the cookie dough. You could find that in front of the high roller. We also one night tried flour and barley for their brick oven pizza. We ordered the Capri salad with the tomato and the mozzarella. It was awesome. And this pizza was delicious. It had like arugula salad and walnuts and it was like goat cheese on it. It was so good. On our last morning, we went to Hash House A Go Go. This is at the Link Hotel, not the Promenade. You go up the escalators. This is a great place to go if you want a really hearty breakfast or a breakfast that's Instagram worthy. <laughs> it's just works of art. Look at this. It was like an avocado toast we split, but it is beautiful. And it tasted so good too. It was awesome. I had such a wonderful trip with my fabulous daughter, Skye. Thank you so much for hanging with us. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. I hope you get to Vegas. I'm going to leave you some playlists for you to enjoy. There are so very many choices to make when planning a Vegas vacation. Eat the cake, get the cabana, enjoy. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casino.